So this demonstration is about the problem of covering chessboards or parts of chessboards with dominoes. So here we have a 5x5 five five board uh, with 25 squares and we're going to try and cover it with uh, dominoes like this. So uh, we can uh, place dominoes in, in a bunch of different ways. Um, so we're going to start uh, like this and uh, put some here and some here. Uh, one here and one here and one here okay but uh, we haven't uh, haven't finished covering the five by five board um, <clears throat> and you might think well maybe this was because uh, we just didn't place the dominoes in the right way maybe if we uh, try and do it in something a little bit different like uh, put one here or um, start filling them up in a slightly different way then maybe maybe that would work um, but of course it doesn't uh, so we have to step back and try and find uh, some kind of general reason why this is failing to work. And uh, of course it's not very hard in this particular case, because uh, here we've got a 5x5 five five board, there's 25 squares. Uh, each time we place a domino it covers two squares. So when we place uh, k dominoes then we cover 2k squares, always an even number. And so we can uh, never actually cover the uh, 25 squares, because 25 is odd. So uh, let's instead try a, a board like this, a 6x6 six six board. Okay. And uh, here, of course, it, it's, uh, you know, we can cover, cover this with uh, disjoint dominoes in um, a ton of different ways. Um, and it's important to notice that uh, there's lots of, uh, lots of different ways. Um, some, uh, there's some very obvious and very regular ways we could do it, but uh, also we can do sort of more random things like I'm doing here. Uh, <coughs> and uh, so when we start trying to write proofs about uh, uh, about any of these domino placements and so on, we always have to bear in mind that uh, you know uh, our proofs have to cover the possibility that uh, you could be trying to uh, cover the board with dominoes in some kind of strange and irregular way. But uh, anyway, here we've done it. Uh, we've uh, covered the six by six board with uh, uh, eighteen non-overlapping dominoes. So now uh, let's try something just a little bit more complicated. So again, we've got a 6x6 six six board, and we've taken out uh, two of the squares uh, from the top right and the bottom left. And uh, let's try and cover this uh, try and cover, the, cover this region. Okay, so we just uh, start placing dominoes in some uh, reasonably obvious way. And... Uh, Going along quite swimmingly here, we can cover most of the board. Um, but now we get to here, and we find that we've got two squares left, and uh, we can't uh, we can't manage to cover those. Uh, <coughs> and again, you might think, well, uh, maybe we just didn't weren't clever enough. Maybe we uh, should have uh, arranged the dominoes in a different way, and then maybe it would work. Uh, so we're going to try something a little bit different here. Uh, but uh, again, we find we get stuck. <clears throat> and, um, so once more, we should uh, try and uh, try and think uh, of uh, some way to understand why it is that we keep getting stuck. And uh, you could try and do these kinds of proofs sort of by uh, you know, analyzing all the possibilities. You start by saying, well, maybe we have a, a horizontal domino in the top left or a vertical domino in the top left, and then uh, study all the possibilities. But there's really a very large number of different possibilities. Uh, so that's not a very good way to go. Uh, instead, we need to uh, step back and uh, have some kind of big picture idea of uh, what's going on. Uh, and again, it's not so hard here. I mean, we've uh, uh, we've covered the board. Um, <clears throat> we've colored the board uh, with black, white and gray squares in the usual sort of chessboard pattern. And, uh, and every time we place a domino, uh, it, it always works out that we cover one gray square and one white square. So uh, whenever we place, uh, if we place k dominoes, then we'll cover um, k white squares and k gray squares. And uh, <clears throat> but uh, but we uh, when we took the corners of this board out, uh, so this top right corner was gray before, and the bottom left corner was gray before. So we've re removed two gray squares. And it used to be the case that there were 18 gray squares and uh, 18 white squares, but uh, now we've got uh, only 16 gray squares and uh, and 18 white squares. Um, so when we, uh, if we place a bunch of dominoes, then we'll cover the same number of gray and white. Uh, and so in particular, we can't cover the whole board because the whole board has different numbers of gray and white. 